Yeah, 21 after 8. Look, I had a note the other day from a young man called Brett Brown. He's an Australian actor and baritone. He's only in his early 30s. A graduate of the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in London. Someone who's performed with everyone from the Royal Shakespeare Company to Opera Australia. He wrote to tell me he's returning to Sydney to sing in a show with the Omega Ensemble called American Masters. It's more than that. He'll be singing the world premiere of a piece called Unexpected News. It's at the City Recital Hall next Tuesday, July 2, half past seven. You can go to cityrecitalhall.com or call 8256222, 8256222. Dr Ian Lambert and his wife Alison will be very proud. This is a Scotsman, born in Sydney, grew up in Seaforth. Good morning to you. Good morning, Alan. Thank you for having me. You've done well. Thank How did you, you come much. to be singing with Opera Australia as you were, uh, when you were eight? When I was eight, I think from memory, Mum saw an ad in the in the Herald uh, that was auditioning young singers, and I had been. Uh, I don't quite remember this, but I'd been singing as a child in the playground, and one of my teachers in my infant school suggested I started having lessons. So singing lessons became piano lessons, became the audition, and. Uh, that's how I made my way into the opera company. Yes, you make it sound pretty simple, but you went to Scots on a performing arts scholarship. But when you were 16, you were invited to London to perform at the Globe Theatre. That's right, with Mark, the wonderful Mark Rylance, the actor. It's extraordinary. And I, then the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, this is 2006, you were offered a place. I understand 32 people were accepted from 3,000 applicants. That's right. Uh, worldwide, 3,000 applicants. And that's still the case today, that they only accept the, that, that So what did you do number. in the audition? I did quite badly, Romeo's uh, Window Soliloquy. Yes. And I also did an Australian play, a monologue um, from a play called Black Rock. And they were my two pieces. And I sang a Sondheim song, and then I had to do a Chekhov piece, and then a group workshop. And it was a three-month process. This young man's 30, what, four? So you're a singer, an acclaimed Shakespearean actor. You're balancing those two. You're pursuing both, are you? I am pursuing both. The industry really forces you to try and choose one or the other, but I'm trying to fight that and to merge both my classical singing and my acting into almost a new genre, if you like, that encompasses both. This piece you're singing on Tuesday night, it's written by a man called Nico Mooley, um, it's big time. This fellow, am I right, he's the youngest composer to have been commissioned by the Metropolitan Opera. That's correct. I think it was t- t- 2011, his opera Two Boys premiered, and only last year, his second opera, Mani, uh, was performed by the Metropolitan Opera, and his, I think he's the only composer in the history of the Met to have been commissioned twice. So it's a, a rare honour that's been bestowed And he's written on him. film scores as well. He has. Uh, 2006, The Reader, with Kate Winslet, that was his score, and he's worked with uh, singers like Bjork or Anthony and the Johnson. So this is a, he's the rising star of the classical music world. I mean, Ashley Barty wins the French tennis championships. Uh, cricket, the boys win last night. Australia, it's ridiculous, isn't it? We're 25 million people, if we're lucky. Have a listen to the story of this young bloke. It's unbelievable, isn't it? So you're going to sing Unexpected News. I understand it's based on a Greek poem. That's right. It's based on the poem uh, by Constantine Cavafy, Two Young Men Aged 23 or 24. And that was written in 1927 in Greek, but I'll be performing in English. Gosh, it's been translated into a piece of music. Listen to the voice, the beautiful voice. When I have sung my songs to you Sing no more. I love this. When I was talking to Ross, he said, oh, they mightn't have heard of it. People haven't heard this. It's just a beautiful piece of music. This is a young man by the name of Brett Brown. We've worked so hard to hold our dreams. Just you. There's not a lot of him. I've got to say, there's not a lot of you. I mean, well, you must be thrilled, but at the same time, there's a high responsibility here. So you'll be the first person to perform this in public, unexpected news in public. That's right, and I've been preparing the score for several months now. Um, but it's a, it's a great honour, and I'm sure I won't be the last person to sing it as well, because it's You're a amazing. terrific piece of music. So when this is done, what's next? 
What's next? Well, I'm working with Australia's, one of Australia's most eminent producers, uh, Chong Lim. He is brilliant, Chong Lim. Uh, the wonderful Chong Lim to write, um, to write and create my first uh, debut album, which is going to be uh, released next year. So that's very exciting for me. There, uh, what about this? Brett Brown's his name. He's performing at the City Recital Hall in Sydney on Tuesday night with the Omega Ensemble in a show called American Masters and be singing the world premiere of Unexpected News. Now, all you Scots family get along, along with everybody else. This is wonderful stuff. You go to cityrecitalhall.com or 825-622-222. I'll see you there, Brett. Well done. Thank you, Alan. Not I'll at see all. You there. Brett Brown. Yes, just before we go to...